Okay, so welcome to the fifth project for PowerPoint. Great work so far. Okay, as always, uh, save your file with underscore two as the name so Sam can grade it. Um, I always print my instructions, so I'm just gonna go straight from my, my printed instructions here. So step one, first I'm gonna set up my start file to be a little bit nicer than this. Step one, you work in the planning department for the community of Parnell Island in Washington State and need to add and edit pictures to a presentation on public art policy for the town council. Begin by setting the sharpness of the sunset picture on the title slide to 50. So this is your sunset picture. Click on that and then you get picture format tools show up. We're going to go over to corrections and the first group here is your sharpen soften. So we're just going to hover till we find sharpen 50. Step two, on the title slide, convert the text to public art policy. So here it is, and I'm gonna select the outside box so it turns from dotted, dotted to solid. Convert this to a word art object using the fill dark red accent color two, outline dark red accent color two, word art style. Style is your keyword here. So we're gonna go up to shape format once we have this selected and we look for our word art style, which is here. Is it one of these here? Okay, so it's this one here. Just click on that one. And if you wanted to, you could also click the drop down to get all access to all of them. Step three on slide two, insert the picture file rings. So this one comes from your support file from Sam. So, so we're just gonna go insert and pictures and from this device, and it goes to your downloads folder, so we're gonna double click on rings. I'm gonna get rid of design ideas. Apply the bevel rectangle picture style. So we'll click on the picture so that we can get our picture format tools show up. Here's the picture styles here. So we're gonna look for bevel rectangle. So we'll just hover till you find bevel rectangle. Change the color tone of the picture to temperature. So I'm going to go over to corrections and picture corrections, all my options. Cool. Go to picture color and I have saturation and temperature. Temperature is what I'm looking for. So I'm going to type in 8800. All right, now I'm just going to close that down. Um, position the picture to the right of the text. All right, so just, oh, I missed a step. Change the height to four. So here's my size bar here. So the height is four decimal zero. And if your computer is in centimeters, you can check out my YouTube channel to see how to, to change that. But if not, if you're still working from just having centimeters turned on, you can just put your double quotation marks there or inches symbol and it will automatically convert it from inches to centimeters. Okay, um, my lock aspect ratio was on, that's why it automatically changed the width to make it look all pretty. All right, so I'm just gonna put it like this to be on the right of the text. Crop the picture so that only the right ring is featured as shown in figure one. So take a look at your figure one and you'll see that only this guy is shown right here. So we're gonna go up and click on crop and we get these black rectangles. So we're gonna choose this one and we're gonna pull it in. Okay. Okay, that looks about right. And I'm gonna turn off crop again. All right, so step four on slide four. Delete the shape containing text enhanced livability. So click and just hit the delete key. And then move the picture containing text on our artist so that it appears evenly placed between the pictures containing celebrate heritage and promote tourism. So here's on our artist. And to see if it is placed evenly, you look for this. So see the gray lines, vertical gray lines, and then two little red arrows between them. That's to show that there's an even spacing between each picture. So I'll let go. And it says align the three shapes so that the tops are level. So that's a line top. So you're going to select, 
click and hold your control button, click on all three. Now I'm letting go of my control button and I'm going to go up to the align here, which is in the arrange group. So I'm going to hover, that's align objects, perfect. And I'm going to choose align top. There we go. Okie dokie. So I'm going to deselect those by just clicking outside anywhere here in the white of the slideshow. Step five on slide nine. I have to insert a video. So you have this here and it's just options, quick options for you to choose. And this one here is insert a video. So click on that one and it should be in your downloads folder. Double click and open it up. Perfect. And then apply the snip diagonal corner white video style. So I just close this down. So again, we're looking for video styles. So here's video styles here. And I believe snip diagonal corner right white. Sorry. And that's it. Perfect. And step six is on slide 10. Insert word art using the text questions. So I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to find word art. Here we go. And it says to choose a familiar style. We chose this one earlier. So this one here. And we type in the word questions, capital Q, question mark. And we have to apply the wave down transform effect to the word art object. So I'm going to select the outside of it here and we're going to go to text effects to find that one. And we're going to go to transform here and I'm going to look for the wave. So wave down. There we go. And change the 3D rotation effect to perspective. So I'll go up here and 3D rotation. There we go. Perspective front, but we want perspective right. What's this one left? and right. All right, and increase the width to seven. So here's our size. So we go width seven decimal zero. Perfect. Position the word art object in the upper left part of the slide above the horizon. So it's on figure two. So you can have a look to see, but this one is just kind of like eyeballing it. There's no smart guides. So just eyeball it. That looks about right to me. And then you just hit your save button. Make sure you have the name saved as underscore two and you're done. This one only has six steps. It's a pretty quick little project. So great job and submit to Sam for grading.